What's up, go homie? This is Ben. And Cameron. And TV right sets right now. now. Looking to complete your community service? You can volunteer at the Earth Day Festival in Alta Vista Gardens. Saturday, April 27th, all day. Balance of Sports with Quat. What's up, Guamami? This is Quat with your weekly sports update. If you are interested in playing softball, practice has started but you can still join. Practices are at Brangle Terrace Monday through Thursday from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. All middle school girls interested in playing basketball, come by Mr. Mormon's office to get an information packet. Practice has started and we need more girls. Track and field practices have also started daily. 3.30 to 5.30 in the Laurel, Laurel Wellness Center. In local news, the Padres signed four-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove winner, third baseman, and shortstop Manny Machado. This is a huge pickup for the Sumping Padres. Hopefully, he can help the Padres become the above 500 winning team. Machado deal is for $300 million for 10 years with a five-year opt-out clause. Well, hopefully, he helps out the Padres. All right, go homie. That's it for this week. This has been Quad for GPA TV Sports. Go Padres. They're really starting to put out together a team. With one of the best minor league prospects, along with Eric Cosmer and Manny Machado, they're going to be forced to recon with. Looking for another unique way to get community service. If you're between the ages of 13 and 16, by April 5th, 2019, Live, live, or go to school in Vista area. You could become the next Team Vista. Now on to weather with Sean. Hello, Guomi. I am Sean with your weekly weather. Right now, it should be raining and is not supposed to stop until tomorrow morning. For the rest of the week, it should be partly sunny. The weather's temperature is supposed to stay in the 65 degree range, so I suggest to bring a jacket to keep you warm just in case. All right, go homie. This has been Sean with your weekly weather for GPA TV. I hope the weather would be very good this week. But still, we do need rain and a drought. Spanish Club is hosting a salsa competition on March 7th. It is in the amphitheater from 1 to 6 p.m. If you want to enter your salsa, please bring your salsa entry on the day of the concert, contest. You also bring it to room 3219 in the morning. Please contact Omar Lopez Perez for any questions. The winning salsa will win a gift card. Hey, football season may be over. But it doesn't mean we still can't learn about it. Here's a story on history, on the history of football by Sean Aguilar. Football. There are a variety of sports in this world, and football is one of them. Football was invented in 1869 and was spread across America in 1892, and now can be played starting at the age of five in Pop Warner, high school, college, and even the professionals. Back when teams were barely gathering, there was not many rules and you did not make money. But nowadays in the pros, you can be rich, be famous, lots of money, Nice cars. According to Crone.com, an average running back's wage is $1,012,000 and the median salary is $630,000. Which is mind blowing to most of us, it's not enough to the players. In present football, we have evolved a lot. We now have more protective gear, more rules, and can even make money for simply just playing a sport we love. 
Let's take the Pittsburgh Steelers' number one wide receiver, Antonio Brown, as an example. He makes about $17 million per year and was recently signed an extension on his contract and will now be making $18.6 million per year. But even though those differences are big and football is now more advanced, it was still pretty similar. Now, when you are simply just watching an NFL game on Sunday, think about how the evolution of football came from this to this. This has been Sean Aguilar for GPA TV. I didn't know that. I watch it all the time, but I never listen to the history that goes behind America's, America's favorite game. Now, onto a totally different topic. Let's watch a word of the week by Quat. Homie, I'm Quat, and today I'm going to be asking people what the word cacophony means. The word cacophony means an unpleasant mixture of sounds. Here we go. So I'm here with Robert, Freddie, Ricky, Janelle, Donovan. And do you know what the word cacophony means? No. Do you have any guesses? Is it a type of cat? This? No. Is it a hairline? No. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it means an unpleasant mixture of sounds. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay, thank No. You have any guesses? Maybe like peanuts or something to do with food? Oh. No. You got any other guesses? No. It means an unpleasant mixture of sounds. Wow. Yeah. No. Do you have any guesses? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay, do you know, um, it means an unpleasant mixture of sound. That's weird. I'm here. Uh, afraid of cactus? Nope. Oh, I have no more guesses. You sure? Yes. Sure. It means an unpleasant mixture of sounds. That's crazy, bro. I didn't know that. Yeah, it is. Um, weird sounds? It's close. It means an unpleasant mixture of sounds. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Such a strange word. I definitely didn't know what it meant. Now, we have just that little bit of extra knowledge. Do you know many people at the former dance didn't know how to properly tie a tie? A lot. Let's watch a video on how to tie a tie by me, Cameron. Mm -hmm. Want to know how to tie a tie? Here are six easy steps on how to tie a tie. Step one, take the right, the wide end of the tie in your right hand and the narrow end of the tie in your left hand. You might want to make the wide end of the tie twice as long as the left end of the tie. Step two, you you want to take the wide end of the tie and wrap it over the narrow end of the tie. And the wide end of the tie ends up in the front. Step 3. You want to take the wide end of the tie and push it through the loop right here. The knot right here. Step four. Take the wide end of the tie and push push it through the knot right here. You want to make sure everything is straight. Step five. You know you want to pull the narrow end of the tie go straight to your tight to your neck. Uh uh, not, but not too tight. Uh, step six. Then mm, uh, pop your collar down, and you have created a, the forehand knot tie. I didn't know how to do that. Well, now you do. Thanks to me. That's all for today, homie. I've been Cameron and Ben. Signing out for GPA TV. TV.